Hello everybody, welcome back. Late model stock series time. Here from Five Flags Speedway. Finally found a way to qualify on the inside. Unfortunately, it's towards the back of the field. 14 cars in this split. Car number 11, and I qualified ninth. So, a lot of good guys in this. Um, you know, a couple cars I feel like maybe I could beat, but there's also a few people behind me that I think could beat me. So, not really going to put a place goal on it. Obviously, I would love to uh, pick up a couple spots, take advantage of starting on the inside row. Maybe get like, you know, a sixth or a seventh out of it. But, like I said, there's a lot of. A lot of guys that are capable of doing a lot, so just hoping to uh, find some long run pace, not kill right sides, and uh, see if you know I can just okay, be Jack. there at nice the end. Stay out of trouble. 50 laps, Go. standard late model race length. Maybe I can whip up some of my right five flags magic. He's still there. For whatever reason, I tend to be somewhat decent at this track, but He's still this new car is a whole other variable, so. Five drives by me on the outside. We've got a wreck coming up on the four. Outside line's clear. Three wide. You got him on both sides. Trying to find my way around. Three wide. You're on the inside. There's guys everywhere. Got one right side. I can find my way around that one. So I probably dropped spots. I don't know. I had nowhere to go. The whole front stretch just ended up clogged. Multiple times, people. The leader has just done a so, Lose track of everybody. Somehow, though, no instant but points out of it, and we're right. still where we qualified in 11th. No, I lied. I lost two spots out of that. I qualified 9th. Running where I'm supposed to in 11th. Um, yeah, obviously that's really frustrating to drop that far back trying to avoid the wrecks, but car in front is just posted up. if I had blasted through there, hitting a car was just going to end up me falling me and putting me way down, so... It is what it is. I don't know if this car is damaged. Shouldn't be, considering I didn't get a 4x out of it, but I don't know. 16.938, I guess. A bit off the pace of where I should be. The actor Henderson in front is now 1.12. I don't know. We're just gonna try to keep tires on it and hope that we can pick up a spot or two before the end of it. Maybe I'll get lucky, free spots, and people will wreck or something. Really just strung the whole the field out. Just done a 17. What's it's gonna happen seven? early on is the time to do it. it. Gives me more of the race to work with, but I don't know, pretty frustrating. And Fast we're only up. eight seconds ahead of the leader as well, which is not a fun thought. Fastest lap for Campbell, 16.81. You no, know, if I try to go blasting to get to uh, the eight or the 12. It's just gonna end up me killing the tires, so I think it's better for me to just kind of ride it out, pick up time where I can without overdriving the car. The series is just plaguing okay, me with Jay, bad luck. It seems like. Keep it up. Gap two. Henderson ahead is now. I don't think one, I have one, one, a ton of skill to show. Really good finishes either. Too hard on the throttle there in the middle of the three and four over rotated the car a bit too much. I think it's just how close everybody is on pace, how good everybody is, and the fact that these are only 50 lap races. I think, you know, if you have like a 150 or 200 lap feature, especially with no tire changes, you might see a different mentality. The captain Henderson ahead is now 1.24. Got smoke up ahead, one around. Uh, that was the leader. It was the two. So, to help a little bit. Tenth position. The lap time was at 17.12. It's one of those free spots I was looking for. Oh, why am I fucking never learning 50 lap race and not fucking 40 fucking fuck? And there's four cars up ahead that maybe I might have a shot at. You've just done a 17.15. All hope is not lost. At least recover to where I started in ninth. But just gotta drive the car to be able to have a shot at that. That was a 17.09. We're 
around and pull yeah, off the pace. Ten, two more cars. I don't know. That might have been the former race leader. The car, though, that we're working on the outside of Our inside is high. not yeah. a lap down. Stay high. The side's Still not there. where I want to be for the right sides, but. Still there. Don't really want to give up the spot Our either. Time was 17. Still there. Just trying to make it work on the outside Still and finally there. clear them. Outside. Sometimes Still can there. be viable here, but it seems like in the late model with it being Keep it steady. Still there. so much on throttle time, it's not really viable. Alright, we're gonna we'll let him go. Inside clear. D10. This is killing the right sides, and I'm only losing time to everybody up front, so. Just try to follow behind the seven. As I get way, way too loose off of turn four. Get what I said about trying to save tires. That didn't Your help them. Time was at Figured out how to get the car loose. It's probably the first time in I don't know how many weeks. Yeah. Love this car, and I don't love this car. Like, I used to be able to make the outside work in the old late model, and it's just. It's even more on throttle time now, so. I don't think the outside's really viable anymore. Let's see if I can catch up to the back of the 7 and then maybe ride him up to the uh, 8 and 12 up ahead. It's, we still got 30 laps to go once we cross the line, so good chunk of the race left. Just trying to be smooth on the right front as well as the right rear, but try to kick off consistent laps. Too hard again on the throttle. That lap time was 17.08. I think we might be picking up just a slight bit of time in the group ahead. I don't know if that was retaliation by the two on the seven or what that was. Cost the two of them to spin in three and four. Might take a look at it afterwards. Drag the wall without it counting. Throws my rhythm all off for one and two. Well, it looks like he's fallen off the back of the eight. You've just done a 17.17. I don't know if that's a mistake or if that's a tire fall off or what, but that group is still nose to tail. Instead of the seven and I can get to the back of them, there might be a few spots there to grab before the end. All right, of it. Jake, halfway home. Fuel looks good. Just under halfway this time once you cross the line. Probably overdrove the entrance to three there. We are catching up on that group as well as on the seven. That last lap was at 17.16. Don't really want to get into a massive battle with the seven because it's only going to cause me to lose the group again, but I also don't want to sit behind him too long. Lose the potential to get to that group. <laughs> Try to see if I can find a way underneath them on an exit out of two or four without pushing it too much. Right side. Oh, he's going to try to defend the outside. Good consistency. Keep him coming. He's still there. Keep digging. Still there. He also together. takes a line. few laps to complete a pass here, unless still there's a there. big speed discrepancy. As long as I can keep the line going, at least we got by the 7 pretty quickly. They're arguing on the chat. I got on the throttle a little too hard, just trying to pull away from the 7. Hoping that I'm not using the tires up too much and he'll... Hoping that he won't catch me in the last 20 laps. Oh, 
Wells worked his way up, so now it's the 10, 9, and the 12 with the three ahead. The lap time was 17.22. But do you know who I am? Just over a second and a half back. I know you caught correct on the second lap. I am fucking back here, though. Thank you. I don't know what argument they're having on the chat. I'm really not listening to it at the moment. Maybe I'll save the replay and go back and listen to it afterwards. I feel like laughing at guys. That time I finally get zero extra grab on the wall. Pulled away from the 7 quite a bit. Closing in on the group ahead, but laps are also clicking down. Yeah. Taking up a lot more time per lap. It's just a hundredth of that time. It needs to be closer to a tenth a lap. So we've only got 15 to go, and 1.2 seconds to make up. The gap behind is now 0.84. That was a 17.22. I just had a joke in the but here comes the. At least at the worst case, and back to ninth. Can be worse. It's now 87 Fahrenheit. Yeah, but I think these have a big time like power throw on forever. It's kind of stalling out. Nah, uh, just trying to lap slowly catching them. Just not enough laps really. To worry about. Trying to balance. Ahead trying now. to get to them without absolutely murdering the tires, so that I still have some life left in them if I can get to the 10. Got it to just over half a second now. Your lap time couple, was 17. Tenths the last couple laps. Ten might be losing it. I don't know if that's side by side racing for position or if that's just a lap car ahead. Too hard on the throttle. It settles itself out. Definitely catching the 10. Maybe I can grab one more spot before. Checker flag flies. Got 10 laps to do it. That lap was a 17.24. I've been slowly catching the 9, but just not enough to do anything. Ten's really the only car I have a shot at. So I'm start defending low. Shoot some up the track. I'm trying to take advantage of that, and yeah, I get into it. Up on your player. Sorry about that, ten. That's my fault. I caught him a lot faster than I thought I would. Just drove into his left rear. Dumb mistake on my part. And unfortunately, I got him a little too hard on the left rear. To eighth place. He wasn't able to save behind. Is now two point one. It's not exactly how I wanted eighth place. He drove it in really low. And then shot up the track and tried to cut underneath to take advantage of it. Fortunately, just kind of came back down, shut the door, and the I time was just at got on the throttle too hard, admitted too much. Saw the opening, tried to take it, should have been a little more patient, backed off. So, stupid, stupid move on my part. Just ruined his race Captain for no reason. Williams in front is now 2.4. Five to go, 1.8 back of the five, so then catching them. Fortunately, just not enough time left. Four to go. Come on, Jake. Push, line. push, push. We can get this guy. P8. Right side has, for the most part, been keeping pace with the leader, although obviously the leader is the one now instead of the two. So that I don't know if the two would have been that much faster. Need like an extra. F three or four laps to be able to get to the five and buy them. Because I have a massive pace advantage, just uh, not enough time, I don't Sometimes think. pretty consistent. It's only going to be two to go and we're 1.1 back. You're gaining on the guy in front of the gap is 1.25. But I'm going to keep digging. Been like 
Almost four tenths faster a lap. Two laps left. You've just done a 17. So outside shot at it. Well, not when I drive one and two that bad. Really needed to be to his back bumper going into one. White flag, last lap. I think it's just a little too far back to be able to get there, but... Yeah, I needed, like, two more laps. Not a happy way to get an eighth, like I said. No, I know. We Didn't want to get into the ten like that. That was on me. Get the overlay off. Take a look at how bad I chewed up the tires. 67.75. Probably should have been a little bit kinder on the right front. I was driving pretty hard there towards the end trying to catch up, so I'm sure I didn't do that any favors. Let's take a look at... Carter, you right reared me. <laughs> look at the uh, deal with the 10 to start towards the end, and then I will look at what happened off the start, too. So this is the lap before. This will kind of set everything up. It's catching the 10. Yeah, I guess that was my bad. I thought that was the only spot that I could grab, so... Um, you're going to see him dive low into one, like, really low, compared to what I did. Oh, he got the wall. That's what he did. He dived so low, he got the wall, and then here's where it didn't work. So he gets the wall you were like a half right there, shoots up the track. I thought he was going to keep staying high, so I tried to uh, get on the throttle early to cut there and didn't quite get there, and then just recognized it too late that I was uh, not going to clear his, his left rear. And that's when I lifted, tried to get on it. Unfortunately, damage had already been done. Got into him, so... Um, yeah, I don't know. I think I honestly expected him to shoot up further and be more, like, up in this area instead of here. So I'd have, like, you know, basically to the first lane marker available. Which, had that been the case probably would have been okay. Um, I just completely misjudged that. Just completely misjudged that. Uh, really, really dumb mistake on my part there. That was definitely not at all what I needed to do. So, um, I don't know if he just tried to defend the bottom and overcompensated or what caused that, but that's obviously absolutely no excuse for, for what I did. Uh, let's go back to the very beginning because that beginning was something else. So we're going to get going. 14 kind of laid back, kind of a broken start. You're going to see the 5 actually drive by me on the outside. Just drove it into one harder than I did. So, takes the spot, let him by. Put me back to 10th, and this is where everything is going to happen. So, let's go look at the wreck. Not that I even really like to look at the full wreck, but... So it's going to start with the 12 here. So he's got the 7 just ahead of him, and he's got the 6 behind him. So he's going to go into 4, or to 3, excuse me. Let's see what happens. Kind of washes up a little bit. I don't know if he got the bump that shot him up, or if he just came in a little too hot, given where he was, and it washes him up a little bit. The 3 gets in, which is the 21 on the car, excuse me, the 6, gets into his right rear. And that's going to spin him. 6 gets by, so then, as we go back through, you've got the 4, can't check up in time. Gets into the three, turns the three around. And we got the 14 who's gonna go low through this. So he gets low. Then the three comes back down, gets the four, sends him around. So now we'll go look at my view of this whole thing. So. See the first one, jump on it. 
I'm just like everybody's everywhere. I don't know. Like people blast him by. That's the ten that's gonna go by on the inside. He manages to get there. So then I had to blow up, try to cut down. Then you've got. I think that's the three. I don't know. Barely gets me. Get going, and then the fourteen comes down. So let's watch this from in the cockpit again, because that's what's really fun. So I think that gives a better view of it. So in the cockpit, see the wreck was like, I don't know. I probably should have stayed low. I thought it was going to stay down low, and I thought these guys were in a wreck, which is why I started going up and then had to jump on the brakes hard. Thank the Lord that these things still stop. They don't stop quite as quick as they used to, but they're still pretty quick at stopping. So that was what kept me out of there. Then we get going, and somehow barely sneak through, couldn't get to the wall because I had them. So then I see this coming, and I'm like, okay, good to go to the bottom, and then the 14 comes flying down. So, drag the wall just trying to get out of it, which is really my only play, because the 14's just, yeah, I don't know. Barely escaped getting tagged by him and put in the wall. So, drag the wall, 0x out of that, but obviously, like I said, put me back two spots just I I don't know I I guess I wasn't as ballsy as the 10 to just slam it full throttle on the bottom ride the wall and get through it um, I don't know it's, maybe I gotta learn to be more aggressive in these D series ones with no cautions but took what I thought was gonna be the safest route through it unfortunately just was kind of not far enough back to be able to come blasting through it but far enough back to avoid any serious contact out of it so at least it kept me running um, yeah, just, uh, I don't know. Good break, bad break, however you want to look at it to start, and then just a really dumb mistake on the 10. You know, I just cannot believe I drove into the left rear of them. That's just, that's not stuff I need to be doing. So, it was by no means intentional, just a stupid mistake. Um, I'm human, I make them. I'm not a great driver, so it's going to happen. But, uh, yeah, obviously, I get frustrated when people do it, and, uh, you know, I hate I hate to do it to other people too, because uh, you know you could easily owe me one in future races. But grab eighth place out of it, one spot better than where I qualified, three spots better than where I was supposed to finish. So take some comfort out of that. Uh, it just I don't know, really hard to establish pace and where I was because we just got so spread out with that way that wreck that evolved from just a couple cars to even more cars to just you know completely chopping up the field. So um, yeah. Just, uh, you know, frustrating need to qualify further forward, but it seems like middle pack was not the place to be for it either. So I'll try to find pace, try to figure it out. Maybe uh, finally get, you know, a race that can run clean and competitive and not, you know, have to dodge wrecks the whole time or whatever. But hopefully you guys enjoyed that one. Let me know your feedback. Uh, feel free to flame me for the contact with the 10 and uh, just try to turn it around. So till the next one, I hope all your laps are fast, your races are clean, and your finishes are good. Thanks for watching.